Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Moffat. Guys, we got another cool video this morning. We're going to do another cool tools and prepper gadgets. We did one last week, real popular. Going to do another one. You know, you don't have to be a prepper for this video. If you are, you want to stay tuned. But you could be just a regular, regular Hank Hill or Peggy Hill. <laughs> You know, you don't have to be a prepper for these videos. It's a cool tool, you know, like whatever helps you be more efficient or do stuff better or save money or real super good bargains or just kind of really unusual stuff that I kind of like. Let's get started. Um, we're going to talk about... First one off the bat, something I bought back in 2021 was a tent. I thought to myself, you know what? What is my plan B if something was to happen to where I'm living? Where could I go? What could I do? You know, no mama, no papa. <laughs> what, what you going to do, Bob? Well, you know what? Get yourself a tent. I looked at the best ones they had. That would be for a rather warm environment where I live down here in Zone 10 in South Florida. This is rated as the most popular, best number one bestseller camping tent sold on Amazon. Very inexpensive. I read almost all all of the reviews on this tent and it is rated very highly by a lot of people they recommend it for the uh, it's very waterproof most most of the people uh, short term I don't think anybody's living in it around the clock you know nine months out of the year but for the few days that people use it most people are very happy very lightweight it's a simple dome tent you know you got your two poles that curve and put uh, stress on there there's a lot of ventilation because there's a fly tarp on top and you can see it's mostly uh, it's mostly screen here so you've got a lot of visibility people can look in but you can also see out so if you got that fly tarp tarp on top you know you're good to go people can't see in that much and you got a lot of nice ventilation this isn't something you probably want up north <laughs> you know if you're in Baraboo Wisconsin nah. but it, it's perfect for me. It's very lightweight. I got it in the closet if I ever need it. And I just feel more comfortable having another option, another plan B. Very inexpensive. Not doesn't take a part in the space. I've also been thinking about making a little platform out of uh, some rafts that you can get for like... John Jones told me that they were selling the Intex 200 that I like on Aldi's for $5 a piece. So you know what I get four of them? Make some little uh, quarter-inch plywood little... Uh, uh, platforms and, and put the four uh, rafts underneath and put this tent on top I can make me a really inexpensive houseboat this would be the house part you know what I'm saying like I have seen anybody do that before be pretty, 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 pretty cool you could also I know a place where there's some mangroves at a little island and the water so shallow you can't get in with anything but a canoe or a kayak and there's a little place where you go around one side of the island and you get inside the mangroves nobody can see you're in there you could put some uh, wood beams up across the mangroves and put this on top of a platform. You could have a little tree house out there in the mangrove above the water. And uh, it would be so cool. And this is so small. It's five by seven. It's only four foot tall. You can't really stand up in it unless you're uh, not too tall. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought to myself, this is a perfect plan B. You know, you might want to have more than one plan B, but, <laughs> but you got to have at least one. So I'm not saying you should go out and buy the particular tent. Uh, but I, I am saying you should have yourself a plan B and you could do worse next item I bought this Lord about 12 years ago it's a HEPA air filter by Honeywell and I bought it for my brother he had COPD he was living over in the beach and the Everglades were on fire there was tons of smoke and and he was having a really hard time and I purchased it for him and it worked out so well for him I went and bought one myself and ever since then if there's any fires in the Everglades or there's a lot of pollen in the air or, or during the virus of the pandemic or, the, or if there are people in the house that had to do maintenance when they left I turned this on and I want you to know I did a video on this particular filter in a NASA study that indicated that you may be able to remove particulate matter smaller than the size filter that the HEPA filter it removes stuff down to 0 0.3 micron so the uh, the virus is smaller than that but usually the virus is in uh, aerosols which are like at least 0.5 micron so this would get rid of the aerosols 
but if it was even smaller. I'll leave a link to that uh, uh, video review I did. It has the study from NASA. You could read it yourself. It indicates that maybe uh, if the HEPA filters are on uh, low uh, flow, it would enable the uh, smaller particles than the 0.3 this uh, removes to be trapped by the HEPA filter. We're get, getting off subject. This is a really good filter. Um, it's gone up in price. It used to be like 160 at Home Depot, but that was 12 years ago. And uh, periodically, I think Consumer Reports has reviewed filters, and this rated always very highly. Um, and it takes two filters. There's an exterior filter that has carbon in it that you can remove and uh, rinse out, or you can purchase really inexpensive pre-filters. The interior filter lasts about five years if it's commonly uh, used frequently, you know, in uh, places they would normally use it frequently. But if you have an area that, like, in a shop with a lot of dust, it's going to clog up sooner. And the the main filters, HEPA filters, they're kind of expensive. I've seen them on sale, like, uh, right now, they're like $69. But they normally last five years with, with frequent use. I haven't replaced mine in, in 12, 15 years because I just put it on whenever I need it. And that's not too often. But when I do need it, I have it. And I think it's one of the best low-cost filters you can get out there right now. And, uh, you know, the most important things in life, other than, than uh, water, <laughs> is air you breathe. You know, your environmental hazards that you are dealt with daily, constantly. Uh, if, you're, if you're breathing bad air, it's not good for you. It, it, uh, it, it builds up, and pretty soon you have issues. This is a good filter. Um, also, if you ever have a, a nuclear <laughs> a nuclear incident, you would be able to remove a lot of dust particles with this. Um, so, don't know where you're going to get your electricity from, but, you're gonna <laughs> but you'd be able to remove a lot of dust particles with this. I I I like this item very much. I think I I feel good that I bought it. Let me and I, I'm happy that I have it. What's the next one we got going? For a long time, I didn't care a hoot about rechargeable batteries. Years ago, rechargeable batteries sucked. Um, I was very unhappy, and also, I got to the point where if I ever needed a battery, they always had them at the dollar store for practically nothing. But then when the pandemic hit and you go to the dollar store, there's a supply chain issue. There are no batteries. So I said, you know what? It's time for me to start looking into rechargeables again. And I did, and they've improved quite a bit. So I'm happy now that I have a house full of rechargeables. This has been an excellent uh, small rechargeable that just recharges AA and AAA. It's not solar. You do need an uh, alternate uh, power source. It comes with some double A's, but it also has a function where it, it doesn't overcharge, and that's always been a problem in the past. And it's very highly rated, and uh, right now it's a pretty good price, I think. So that's something that's very handy to have, and uh, you can never have enough little batteries around the house, can you? This fellow here, this Recotest, I bought this five times. I bought several for other people. I liked it that much. However, most of the time when I bought mine, they were under $20. In fact, they were on sale a couple times down to $14, and I snagged a couple. The reason I like this, it's not so much a prepper thing, uh, but it is such a cool item, and at $14, $15, it's such a bargain because it does some really unusual things. Now, it is a radio. It's not that great of a radio. You it's it's a, you got to punch in the numbers of the stations and then record them and save them. I'm old. I'm used to a dial. Also, it has a shortwave function, but unless you have uh, unless you have a, an antenna set up, it's uh, not going to pick up a lot of shortwave. And even if you do have an antenna, if you're not situated right. That's not why I would recommend it. It has a function where you can uh, put in an MP3, uh, uh, you put in a micro cassette card and use it as an MP3 player. To me, that's 
one of the best parts about it. And I was able to go on different places and now I have about 2,000 songs that I like a lot on a little tiny micro card that plugs into the radio. That's one of the best things about it. But to me, the most interesting thing about it is by using the different functions, you can record with this. Now, you can record your native audio, like you can speak into it, or if it's playing a radio, you can record the sound off the radio onto uh, the the uh, little uh, radio here. But it has a playback function that will allow you to do different things. Let's say you are making an affirmation tape or a self-hypnosis tape, or let's say you're into sleep learning and you want to make a tape. You can make a tape or a recording, there's no tape, and play it back and have it stop in so many minutes. You can set the amount of minutes you want your recording to play and then have it stop. Or you can set it to where it continues to play. Or you can set it to where it plays and then when it gets to the end it starts over again. It, it repeats itself. So those three things to me are some of the best things about this little radio because you can use it to record things that you want to listen to later either repeatedly or let's say you're here's what I did I wanted to be able to go to sleep better so I made a tape with some background music and I was giving myself uh, like self-hypnosis auto suggestions to make myself go to sleep quicker and better I put this under my pillow and I set it to uh, turn off after 10 minutes or 20 minutes when I turn it on I put it under my pillow I put my head on the pillow and about three to five minutes I'm, I'm asleep so this is very helpful if you're into sleep learning you can do something like that or you could listen to it while you're sleeping or if you just want to listen to something uh, have it repeat uh, over and over you can do that too so there's things that you can do with this radio that you can't really with others and the price is so reasonable most of the other radios are much more expensive uh, this one like if you look at the other ones they're recommending they're all much more expensive than this one so because it has the record function and it has the ability to use the mp3s I know there's young people probably listening to this saying look at grandpa getting excited about an mp3 player <laughs> and, they're, and they're right <laughs> I just think it's so cool that I can put 2,000 songs on a little tiny chip, a little uh, a card that plugs into the radio. It's just amazing to me still. Um, so, yeah, I'm still excited about MP3s. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> uh, but one of the uh, more interesting things, pleasant things, enjoyable things I've bought in the last couple of years. So that is something I'm recommending for the prepper gadgets and cool tools because I think this is a pretty cool tool. So guys, I'm going to be putting... What's on for next week? Let's see what we got for next week. Next week we got stainless steel zip ties. Did you even know they have stainless steel tip zip ties? We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about uh, mosquito gear for the head and for the bed. If you ever do have a calamity or a zombie apocalypse, nobody's going to be changing the water in their pool. <laughs> Everybody that has a pool, it's going to turn into a mosquito bonanza. You're going to have clouds of mosquitoes and nothing to do but cry. <laughs> mosquitoes, I hate mosquitoes. So yeah, we're going to be talking about two of the best things you can get really inexpensively. No batteries needed. And <laughs> talking about the Tramontina, Tramontina $12 machete, one of the coolest tools you can have. It's an absolutely cool tool, but it's also an amazing self-defense weapon. When you think about, if you look at statistics, the number one item that's probably made more people room temperature than almost anything else is a machete around the world. I tell you, they're, they're pretty commonly used for, uh, <laughs> for stuff, you know. Uh, we're also going to talk about this little cool set of tools that I got for working on little tiny electronics and cameras and radios and so on. It paid for itself the first time I used it. So that's what we got going on next week. Video. And who is this man? Get get out of here.
So guys, don't forget, I put on new stuff every week. Been doing it for 15 years. Got over, gee, about 12, almost 1,100 videos, I think. And a bunch of different playlists on all sorts of different subjects. Got more or less sort of a variety channel. And uh, got a bunch of cool people that feature on my channel down the bottom. No relation to me. They would deny it anyway. You want to watch them? <laughs> and like I said, come back, put on new stuff all the time. And check out my reviews and check out my do-it-yourself frugal pepper survival videos. All right, guys. Hope this was helpful to you and you're still hanging in there. And like I said, we got four coming up next week plus a bonus. So that's going to be good. Hope you're enjoying these. Oh, last thing, last thing. If you can think of anything you would like me to review and uh, tell me why. Don't just say, red man chewing tobacco. <laughs> uh, uh, windmill uh, almond chip cookies. Uh, you know, Tell me why. You, there, what's the benefit? What's, what do you get out of it? Why should people be interested? And I'll look into it myself, and if I think it's something cool, I'll be doing a review of it, and also I'll tell people where I got the tip from. So guys, hope that was helpful for you. I'm enjoying myself with these videos, and hope you are too. And uh, like I said, next week, more stuff. Take care. See you out there.